Hey everybody, we're back and we have another Heroclix unboxing and review video for you. This time it's what, Sydney? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Master Mayhem Starter Set. That's right. So this came out the same time that the Gravity Feeds came out. Uh, and we're finally getting around to reviewing it and unboxing it for you. So you know what's included with the, with this set and whether or not you should pick it up. Um, it has the four turtles. Did you see the four turtles? And unlike the, uh, the regular set turtles, these turtles have... Colored masks! Colored masks! This is the only place that you can get the colored masks for the, uh, the regular set. Thank you. Mm. They finally know what I want. Uh, this starter is a little bit different. Uh, most of the starters come in like a clamshell plastic case. The, this starter set is actually different. It's a box set. It's kind of like uh, like a board game almost, which is nice. So the box should stay pretty pretty well. So you take the, the box off and of course you've got your four turtles there in the display. You also get all this stuff, and then, oh, it says dice and printed materials are behind the tray. Printed so, materials? Uh, yep. What do they mean? So, if you take this out, it comes with a 2015 core rule book. It comes with two basic six-sided dice. Oh, they're so tiny! They are tiny. These are what they usually come standard with the uh, with the starter sets. The board. It also comes with this nice little um, booklet that shows you. It gives you all the um, how to set up the map. It also gives you. It also gives you the dials of the turtles uh, on here, and it shows you. Um, it, it, tell, it just goes over the basic rules, which is really nice, and it's a good a good way to learn how to play the game if you're not sure how to, if if you've never played it before. Then there's the board. And then, then it also comes with the silica gel, which we can throw that away. And this right here. Let's open it. And let's open it. this up. Ooh. Do you know what this is? A board. It it is. It's 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 really neat because. Not only does it come with the standard map, a standard size map, and it has... Wait, what does it say? The foot stinks. The foot stinks. It is a map. Get it, get it. The foot stinks. I do. Um, it is the turtle's lair indoors, so that's pretty neat. And then it also has this this is Baxter's laboratory, la laboratory indoors. That reminds me of Dexter's laboratory. So that's a really nice little... Uh, a little map. It looks like it only has two areas, two levels of terrain on that one. And then the Turtles Lair is all one level, which is nice. Um, and it's got a couple things, a couple squares of hindering, some water, and <laughs> some blocking terrain. Pretty cool. So that's. And then it comes with these. I'm not I, I what like. These are. I, I like simple maps, and this is good because I I like the f when it does when a map doesn't have uh, three or four different ter terrain. What are these? These. These little square thingies. Are little cards. They're not real heavy duty. They're not cardboard or anything, but they're. Flimsy paper. They're, they're like little. Pl yeah, they're a little paper. They're a little bit better quality than than the map. But they are um, different ways to. Uh, they're different ways to build off of the map. So build off of the map. Yeah, like you can. Go there's like different. This. Like there's different scenarios that Go you can like build this. out. Like you could build out like. This. See, like this. See this right here. See, see how it has this right here. Mm -hmm. So you have the main map, and then you have these little side rooms or whatnot and little tunnels that um, also connect to it. Because this product is more like um, Heroclix the board game than, uh, a, a, than like a standard starter. This 
This one I like the best because it's the only one that I think has furniture in it. Yeah. I like that. See, look. Look. Very nice. So then now we're going to open this little packet here and tell you what's inside here. There's Heroclix cards for your there turtles. There are Heroclix cards. You want to show folks the, uh, the Heroclix cards? Sure. Okay. Oh, okay, you don't have to. But basically, every turtle uh, figure comes with a matching card, and the card just goes over all the abilities on the dial. Uh, basically, um, the you don't have to you don't have to go all, you know show them all the way all close up if you don't want to. I want um, to. Basically, every color has um, a different ability on the dial, and it just kind of goes over. It gives you a little saying as to why they put that that uh, that ability on their dial see so with like Leonardo uh, starting off he's got uh, get get into the fight charge charge is uh, a move and attack so basically you can move up to half of his movement speed and then make an attack and that's kind of why they put a little description there <laughs> I like one of Michelangelo's abilities and what it's called oh yeah what's it called I'll keep fighting as long as pizza's waiting. Yeah, he's, that's that's his willpower trait. Or his will, willpower ability. Willpower means that he can move multiple uh, turn after uh, a second turn without taking damage. So this, it also comes with 12 um, tokens for barrier, 4 for barrier, 6 for smoke, and 2 for special. Um, so that's in there. It comes with a Hero Clicks Powers and Ability card. This is a nice little card to have handy while you're playing so that you can see what colors, uh, when colors pop up on the dial, you know what abilities you have Ooh. for your character that you're playing. It also comes with... Tokens! Some tokens. Um, but first, let's take a look at... That one. This. Oh, that's kind of neat. Uh, let's take a look at... Can you use these? This is, um, mm -hmm. just a question. Mm -hmm. Can you use these with other, like, like, like the other hero clicks? You can use the map and the figures and basically everything, um, except for the little side, the little tiny add-on maps. And then these, um, pogs or tokens aren't they don't have a point value these are just to use with this hero click starter game so basically you've got one two three four you've got many eight eight mm -hmm. 24 master tokens you've got many what do you have here you have an april o'neill token you have a casey jones token uh baxter stockman rat king splinter uh, a couple Player of these one. training dummies and training a player dummies? one. Yeah, that's what they say on the back. They say training dummies. Training dummies. Rat, rat, yeah. rat, 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 rat. And then you also have some rat tokens and a couple more training dummies. No, you got like a bunch of rats. And then you've got your standard objects. Uh, you've got, oh, actually, no, these aren't standard objects. These are manhole covers. So this is another thing that, that you can do in the game as well. Are those just like sewer yeah. covers? And so that's everything that comes with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle starter set. My, my overall thoughts on the product are this is a great product if you are starting out learning how to play hero clicks um, if you've never played hero clicks before you should probably pick this up it's a great little set um, it teaches you the basics on how to play this is how i'm going to teach sydney how to play and it kind of gives you a little feel of the game <laughs> the dials themselves on the turtles they're not that great um, compared to some of the other figures um, so if you're looking to play competitively, this might be a set that you might want to pass on. Um, but if you're definitely, if you're a starter or a beginning player, this is definitely uh, a good place to start. The one thing that I'm not real keen on is the fact that it comes with a 2015 uh, core rulebook. Um, I'm sure they probably are working on a 2016 one. They just weren't able to get it in this starter set. So that's kind of a disappointment. But overall, I think for what you get, um, there's a lot here. And I'm going to say that they did a great job of making these little plastic insert able to hold all the tokens. Um, and then, of course, you got your four turtles down here as well. 
this retails for about $25 and I say that that's a pretty good price. Uh, I'm going to tell you it gets my thumbs up if you're a new player. If you're, like I said, if you're an existing Heroclix player and you want to play competitively, it might be something you want to pass on. But other than that, what do you think of the product, Sydney? I'm reading this. Oh, okay. Anyways, so I like it. You like it? I are you, like are you going to play some Heroclix with me? Okay, very good. And uh, yeah, I think Wait, it'll be fun. you didn't tell them what I said. Uh, you said, a very ninja, yes. Yes. Okay. So yeah, well, well I think it'll be a good, good product for her to learn how to play and, and it should be a lot of fun. So that's our review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Heroclix Mouser Mayhem starter set. Uh, it should be available at your friendly local gaming store. So this is just one of a few uh, Heroclix products that we're going to be uh, reviewing over the next week or so, leading up to the WizKids Open event uh, at Perhaps Magic. Um, so if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please... Subscribe! Um, and you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitch and Twitter. I'll put the links for everything down below. Okay, this has been Victory Condition Gaming because winning shouldn't be the only victory condition when you get to the table. Thanks so much, folks. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye. 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 Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go.